New video tonight shows the moments just after a fire broke out at a Canton apartment and business. Just as fire crews arrived, the fire blasted a window out. Amazing, the people inside were able to make it out. And tonight, investigators say they believe they could have put the fire out much quicker if it wasn't for a problem with the gas line. News Channel 5's Paul Kiska talked with firefighters and neighbors, and Paul, they say it took too long to get the gas turned off. Well, that's right. Fire officials want to know what took the gas company so long to show up this morning. The good news here, no one was hurt. I just talked with the fire chief in Canton Township, though. He says tonight the investigation continues into the cause of that massive fire. Three people living in upstairs apartments ran outside when smoke alarms sounded early this morning. Everything they owned, gone. Really, the hardest thing is going to be when everybody leaves and they get to go home and I don't have a home no more. A skilled gaming business on the first floor had video games that paid cash prizes. The fire started in the basement. Canton Township firefighters had the fire contained at first. Found out it was being fed heavily by natural gas. Fire Chief Scott McKibben said Dominion East Ohio Gas was called to shut off the gas line, but he said Dominion didn't show up for one hour and 22 minutes and took another hour and four minutes to turn off the gas. I think that is ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous. Normally it, it seems like they're here quicker when we need them, um, but at this particular time there was a delay in, in the time response. Had they come out here and shut that off, they would have been able to get in and stop the fire because it was definitely contained to that one level. A Dominion spokesperson said they have to call someone in during overnight emergencies and like to be on scene within an hour. Dominion said they arrived in an hour and six minutes, but the gas meter was in the burning basement and the outside valve was under pavement and had to be dug up with a backhoe. This building across the streets has a business in there. It's nothing but a nuisance. Several neighbors said they're glad the gambling joint is gone because they say it attracted troublemakers and what appeared to be parking lot drug dealing. The owner of the building said that's false. Neighbors disagreed. The clientele that goes over there, they come over, they approach you for money. People didn't feel secure anymore. You know, frightened. But the facility had some troublemakers. Yeah. I'm I didn't. It's gone. Yeah, kind of. I didn't like what was going on down here, but ain't nothing I could do. I'm just. But yeah, you're right. And tonight, the Stark County Red Cross is helping Kevin and the others who lived upstairs in that building and lost everything in that fire.